Hello, quarantine day 13 or shelter at home here in North Carolina. I'm Maureen LaBeouf with their leadership. And I will be honest with you, it's starting to feel a little bit like Groundhog Day. Wake up each day, we're in to go. And then I remember we're in the pandemic of 2020. Initially, it felt like a snow day, but now it feels like a snow day that's just not ending. What I want to spend my time with you today is talk to you about recognizing members of your team. In the military, we have a lot of different ways that we can recognize people. We can write letters of thank you. I mentioned um, sending notes. That's always a way you can recognize somebody. Somebody can receive a certificate of achievement, obviously in some cases medals, but there are no bonuses in the military. And so we had to become creative. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with the coins, uh, that the challenge coins in the military. Um, here's a couple examples. This is one that was from Duke ROTC. I work with the USO of North Carolina, and I was recently given the coin from the CEO of USO Inc., a friend of mine was the deputy commanding general for um, forces in Iraq, and he gave me this coin. And I actually had a coin when I was the head of the Department of Physical Education, and it was always fun to give a coin. So when I retired, I had a coin made. And so on one side, it says, Master the Sword, 1997 to 2004, and of course there is a sword. And on the back side, not a surprise, it says, Be the Standard. And some organizations don't use coins, but they use other things. And I was given a, a pin from an organization that I worked with, and a, this pin apparently is a big deal uh, to pre be presented with that pin. So I received a pin. So there, there are ways, <clears throat> excuse me, you can recognize people. And I will tell you, when I was the head of the department, I couldn't give somebody a coin every time they did something. So we had to come up with other creative ways to recognize people. And we came up with, we took a protein bar and one of the folks in the department developed a wrapper, if you will, for that protein bar. And it said, presented by the master of the sword. And there was a sword. And because it's the military uh, and we love our acronyms, it became known as the MOS bar, the MOS bar. And once a month, I would go through a file of notes that I'd received about people who had done things in the department. And I would select people who would receive the master of the sword bar. And so when I would get up and say, I'm now going to present the master of the sword bar, the department would cheer. It became a, a wonderful thing that we did once a month. And when I would go around and visit people in their offices, I would see the moss bars on their desk. And one gentleman even made a, a stand that he would put all the moss bars he'd received on the stand. They were never eaten, they were always displayed. And the other thing we did is you know, we'd have ceremonies and, and mom and dad would be recognized, but the kids weren't. And so my assistant found this really cute ribbon that I was able to tape to the children's, um, to the children's chest that said, terrific military kid. So it was a way to include the children. I had an executive tell me that she will write a note to the families thanking them for the work that the um, that their family member is doing for her and then she would include a gift card for a local pizza restaurant. What a what a great idea that is. I know that right now you have members of your team who are showing up in in doing their jobs in creative in innovative ways and you need to recognize them. So my question is, how are you recognizing your team? Thank you for spending some time with me. This is Maureen LaBeouf with Their Leadership.
And remember, be the standard.